repaired, just as Martin said. There you are. This may sound strange, but I was told to wait for you here. Told? By whom? A child. A boy with golden hair and piercing eyes, who spoke like no child I have ever met. Did you follow us into the Mornwield? No. He came to me in a waking dream. I know better than to doubt a vision, especially one so clear. My father was Hugh Montbaron, Grand Master of the Legion. A proud man, I'm told, but not immune to my mother's seduction. Illegitimate, perhaps, but I think she tells the truth. I've seen paintings of the Montbarons, and she has the same pale eyes. The resemblance is striking, actually, especially to Hugh. I do not know why this golden child chose me, but I believe I can be of help to the Legion, if you let me. Your mother seduced my father? So, the stories about the Skansi witches are true. What stories are those? The ones told to jealous wives by poxy-faced men? Of black-hearted witches who ravished them in the dark of night? Those stories are fancies, but they hide a deeper truth. Lescanti witches have discerning taste. We will seduce a foreign man, but only if he is strong, clever, handsome. He'd pass those traits to your children, and your clan would be stronger. We are a practical race, no? 500 years of wandering has taught us to claim any advantage we can. If you're a Montbaron, then you're part of the Legion, and my family. We could use your help. Even if the child had not appeared to me, you are family. Of course I will help. We journey south, no? To Stonebridge? I know the roads, and charming company makes long miles less dreary. Hold on there. Eh? The roads ahead aren't safe. An avalanche? Here. I do not think nature is to blame for this. By order of Jane Cassander, none shall pass this. Uh, idiot tears. Get them!
Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. General Devonsey is further so on many ahead. Royalists Just dead. follow the path. These men were young, hardly soldiers at all. <laughs> Stand away there. Not so close to the general. Never mind. I can hardly be called a general with a Majesty's army lying dead all around us. Sorry, Lord Devonsey. Sir. Forgive the boy. A few months ago, he was a royal page. Now, he's a soldier. Such are the depths to which we have fallen. I'm surprised to see any travelers on the road with so many of Jane Cassinda's soldiers about. What brings you to this ill-omened place? We were sent by the Legion. We're heading south to reclaim the old chapter house in Stonebridge. The Legion? So the rumors are true. A gathering in the north. The rebirth of the old legion. That's beside the point, though. I'm afraid you're stuck here with the rest of us. The western road has collapsed and we're surrounded on all sides by impassable swamp. What about those massive roots? We can walk across them like a road. Indeed, they'd support our weight, and my cannons and wagons, too. But the roots are separated by stretches of water. In order to create a path, we'd have to raise the land between them. Impossible, you might say. But I have a man in my army with power over earth and stone. A scholar called Phineas. If only he were here. We need to find this scholar, Phineas. Where is he gone? He was among the first to be taken by the damned savages. They fell upon us not long after the battle, and they've been mounting raids and abducting our wounded ever since. First people. That's what the scholars call them. Only Az and I knows that they call themselves. I thought of mounting an attack on their village to rescue Phineas and the others. But my surviving soldiers are too few and too young. If I had your help, though... Agreed. We'll help you rescue this Phineas and the rest of your people, if they still live. If the first people prey on the wounded like scavengers, they might yield to a show of strength. My scouts tracked one of the raiding parties to a village east of here. Not far at all. I'll gather whatever men I can, the ones who can still fight, and we'll meet you there. I saw you speaking with the general. They must be in dire straits to rely on passers-by. But Lord Devonsey has seen fit to trust you. You already know of the savages in the bog. Beastly lot they are. Some of our best soldiers were captured in their raids. Others have gone missing. We sent scouting parties into the bog. I armed them as best I could, but baggage train attendants are hardly soldiers. They haven't returned for hours. If your people are raw recruits, they won't survive long in the swamp. Let me look for your missing soldiers. You surprise me. I can offer you little more than some extra supplies, and my thanks. Look for them to the east, out in the bog. We sent out two scouting parties. Hopefully the swamp hasn't claimed them. Devonsy won't permit any more of us to leave camp, so you're the only chance they'll get.
I didn't want to say anything in front of that lord, but I've heard the name Devonsy before. He commands the royal army. You probably heard his name in news of some battle or other. When I was young, I heard Odo speak of him many times, in hushed and urgent tones. That name, Devonsy, it was often paired with another name, but I don't remember what it was. We should tell Odo when we see him next. I think this might be important. Disgusting creatures. If only they were fine. We're on the same side. We got split up from the rest of our party in the confusion. We're heading back to camp, but if you find the others, please help them. 